Hello everyone, in this video I'll be discussing the books you need to follow in your second year of MBBS. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah, myself Omar Mohamed, I'm currently a final year medical student studying at Government Medical College, Kuwait Welcome to my channel, do subscribe and share this video if you found it to be helpful with your fellow friends. Second year of MBBS is a really crucial period as it lays the foundation for your clinical knowledge. Believe me, if you have a good foundation in your first and second year, your clinical area is going to be way easier. You will be completing three very important subjects of MBBS that is pharmacology, microbiology and pathology in your second year. Before we move into the actual name of the book, you have to understand that there are basically three kinds of textbooks or three kinds of materials which will be used for second year. Firstly, you have the standard textbooks, then you have the exam oriented preparatory manuals and finally you have the coaching materials. So let's get into this. Coming to the standard textbooks, by now you might know that they are going to be the gold standard books which will be used for reference for all the knowledge you gain in your second year. If someone who is planning to learn from the standard textbooks, it's important for you to be a consistent learner and also someone who should develop the habit of writing notes. Next up is the exam oriented book. This is a kind of book which many of the students opt in the last moment. These books are going to be written in a really structured and point wise manner. However, unlike your previous book, the disadvantage is that there is a possibility of having mistakes in these books and also all of your concepts might not get clear from these books and most importantly one other big disadvantage which i found out from these books is that it eventually kills your reading habit it eventually kills your habit of reading standard textbook the habit of studying from standard books actually helps in the long run especially when you enter into the third final year and even after that Eventually, we'll all have to read from standard textbooks and journals. So if you can build that habit during your MBBS time, that's actually beneficial. Finally, you have the coaching materials. Now, if you ask me, is it necessary? I would say second tier is still an early time to start with coaching materials. So it's not necessary, nor is it compulsory for you to join a coaching institute. It's important for you to focus on the second tier subjects. but if you decide to go with one i would say that it will have its advantages considering that next is going to be implemented and unlike the previous batches where you can revise the first and second year subjects during your internship or post final mbbs now you don't have that privilege if you are planning to join a coaching institute it is good but as i have said it is not at all compulsory with that cleared, now let's move into the individual books. So we start with pharmacology and in pharmacology we have this book, this huge book which is The Essentials of Medical Pharmacology by K.D. Tribadi. This is the standard book. As you can see, the book is really thick and if you ask me have I learned from this book, to be honest, no. I did not learn from this book. The reason is that firstly, we were part of the covid batch and we had a very short second year so we did not have time to learn from this book secondly personally i do not think that this book is absolutely necessary for ug students because it's really long it has a lot of material which is not necessary for ug students as well so the book which i recommend is this one this is the one which i followed which is medical pharmacology by patmaja uday kumar now there is another very popular book in kerala which is shan bak and many students or most of the students actually use shan bak for studying pharmacology the disadvantage i found with shan bak is that even though it is really good for your exams and everything is presented in an exam oriented manner i do find that it's not really nice for building concepts in pharmacology whereas when it comes to patmaja it is somewhere between kd tribadi and shan it's really good for your concepts it's also good for writing examination so you can find that middle ground in this book so that's the material which i recommend for pharmacology next up is microbiology now microbiology is a subject where you'll be studying everything about infectious diseases and microbes it's a huge subject a very important subject of second year bbs the textbook which i recommend and which is widely followed is this one which is essentials of medical microbiology by aburva shastri now i don't think you need any alternative to this book previously we used to have for parasitology a separate textbook but nowadays it's not needed because in the latest edition microbiology has been reformatted as per the new cbme based curriculum so i highly recommend aburva shastri's as book all the important parts of this book which we need is highlighted it's written in bold it also contains really good summary charts and tables which are helpful during your examination finally we move on to the most important subject of your second year and in fact i would argue that this is one of the most important subject of your entire mbbs and that is 
pathology pathology is going to be your foundation for all the clinical subjects which you learn in your final mbbs so if your patho is strong which should be the case it's actually going to help you a lot during your third and fourth year of mbbs now in pathology there is this very famous book it is one of the most famous books in medicine the gold standard one is this two volume book pathologic basis of disease by robins and cotran it's popularly known as the grandfather robins now if you ask me this book is way huge for a ug student it's not easy to read and learn from the grandfather robins therefore there is a shorter version of this book which is known as the robins basic pathology but from my experience what i will tell you is that this is the best book which i have read and learned in mbbs i haven't read a book that is so well written like this grandfather robins it's not just the book everything about the book the flow charts the summary the diagrams they are all really really amazing and excellent but the difficult part is you have to be a consistent learner i did my general pathology from this after that for systemic pathology i did not have time to complete from this book but believe me if you can read grandfather robins then that's really going to help you build your concepts however you have to be very selective while reading grandfather robins otherwise it's going to be a waste of time you will do a lot of reading and gain nothing so be selective if you choose to read this book and most importantly you need to create notes otherwise it's going to be really hard to write examination by simply reading grandfather that's a disadvantage with robins that's why there is a concise version of this book which is known as the father robins now the father robins is more suited for ugs than the grandfather one but nevertheless the one which is written better is obviously the grandfather so the alternative to robins is this one this is actually an exam preparatory manual written by ramdas naik and this is very widely used here in kerala this book is excellent for writing your examinations because everything is written really well in a point wise structured manner but like i have said this is actually a concise version of the robins as well in an exam oriented manner the disadvantage i found with ramdas naik is that you don't retain a lot of what you study in this book compared to robins so i think the best approach for you to take is use robins for concepts and use ramdas naik for your exams other than these books there is also an additional book which is the pathology textbook by harsh mohan so that's about the book the dictum is always don't jump into buying books initially itself ask your seniors or ask your fellow batchmates who already have these books read these books for yourself try it out maybe some of the books are not meant for you or for your methodology of study so do check out these books before buying them if you found this video to be helpful do like share and subscribe in your second year apart from these three subjects you also have the clinical subjects which includes medicine surgery obstetrics pediatrics and so on so in the next video i'll be covering a complete guide for your second year mbbs what you should do how should you deal with clinical postings how should you learn the second year mbbs subjects all the other different topics related to your second year mbbs so stay tuned subscribe to this channel and see you soon in the next video